Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Weekend Mystic, beginning Friday, May the 26th through Sunday, May the 28th of 2023. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is a collective energy for all sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you'd like a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So with that, Let's move right on into the energy we have, the King of Wands and the Justice card. The King of Wands is the energy of action. This is a mature energy, fully, fully formed, ready to go. So it means there's nothing else you're waiting on. All things are in order and you can now take action and be the leader of it as well. So if it's a business, it means you're in the boss energy or ownership. Then we have the Justice card, Libra Major Arcana, which is balance, right decisions being made by you and for you. So, let's see what else we have, my darlings. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light. Divine Spirit, we have the Magician, the Master Manifestor Energy. This is telling you to focus your energy in one direction and not don't scatter yourself out. You want to be very micro-focused on this and bringing the matter into the outcome you choose. And that is how you do it with the Magician's Energy. It is the Master Manifestor card. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Sun, Moon and Rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages and we receive them and the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we go right into our three cards out. And the underlier. Ha ha! The star card. We love this Aquarius Major Arcana card. The star card is your soul's desire being granted, being brought into a place where you have everything aligned and absolutely on the path that you are supposed to be on. So Ascension Energy, Aquarius Major Arcana, and your wish being granted by the Divine. Be receptive to that because sometimes we will lower our expectation in order to not be disappointed. But you're really only defeating your own purpose because you've got to set your expectation high in order to receive something between there and what you would lower it to, right? If you start off low, you're never going to get a bigger thing. So stay in the bigger energy. Allow yourself to wish, you know, for the for the whole enchilada, not just a bite. And be receptive when it shows up. I am open in my heart and mind to receiving the blessings that I deserve. A lot of us will cancel that out because we feel like we don't deserve it. If you're breathing in this realm of existence, you deserve everything that comes your way in the goodest, in the goodest way, in the goodest way, <laughs> all good things in the best possible way. You deserve it. You're alive. You are here. You are qualified for it. You are absolutely in the energy of, re of receiving all the good energy that's out there. It's only because we focus on fear and negativity that we misalign ourselves. So we don't, we don't want to do that. Stay in the place where you know you are as deserving as every other person. Generosity. Generosity is an energy of allowing yourself to be of service to people. Don't let it go out of balance where you're giving more than you can just enough just to where you're participating in the whole flow of life right whether it's money or your time or whatever be generous with all things you are able to be generous with it doesn't mean that you have to pay for everything even though this card's talking about money money is a, a way to be generous money is positive energy and allows me to be generous to others Big Vicious Jack going after the mailman again. So here we are, back to generosity. Be in a place of being generous, not just with money. It allows you to be in that place of generosity where you don't have to uh, come together with, with a lot of people. You don't have to. It's not a big effort to be generous is what I'm saying. Allow yourself to be generous where you can. You don't have to wait for the day that you have enough money to be generous. Just be generous with what you have. It doesn't have to be money. Time, energy, 
focus, paying attention to people who need you, and being there for them is an act of generosity. So that's where we are in that energy. Let's move right on into abundance. We got the abundance on the bottom, and we'll take that because abundance is a very solid energy. Look for a sign. Remember, signs and symbols show up all the time, especially in your gut instinct. You'll know when it's your something trying to wake you up because it'll be something so specific that it couldn't be a mistake. So allow yourself to pay attention to what's showing up around you. Healing is our bottom card here. We love the healing energy. Being in a place of allowing yourself to be in that vibration of healing of all things, of emotions, physical illnesses, uh, wonderful energy of being able to restore yourself. And the crown chakra, the beautiful crown chakra, the frequency of the crown chakra, the violet flower of life, supports our spiritual connection to the universe and our ability to transmute negativity into the energy of light. So bringing yourself into the place of transformation through meditation. Remember, I preach meditation all the time. And it means just to sit down and connect to source. There's many forms of meditation. Check it out. Google is your friend on that. It can show you all the different ways there are. Yoga, Tai Chi, anything that's involving that focused energy. Manifestation. Believe in yourself. Trust your instincts and follow your heart, for in doing so, you shall manifest all your heart desires. The life you have for so long aspired to create will soon manifest. And so it is. We receive that energy. Thank you, universe. Let's see what else we have. Peace. What a lovely thought to be in a place of peace where your heart is calm. Calm your thoughts and move your awareness to a peaceful space inside your heart. Feel the ebb and flow of love, the eternal movement of the stars. Your life is forever unfolding to greater spheres of love. Relax and do not worry about anything, for all is well. You will soon enter a time of well-earned peace and tranquility. Amen. And so it is. We receive that energy. Absolutely. Thank you, universe. And our first card is the Four of Wands, very solid energy of stability, good communication, grounded foundation, and a doorway to the future. Moving forward through the doorway is the beautiful energy of the next cycle. Ooh, the next cycle is the Ten of Cups, happily ever after. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. Yay, team! We've received this energy of fully in the energy of harmony, peace, happiness, joy, healing, abundance, all prosperity. Yay, 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 and yes, we receive it. With the victory of the Six of Wands, which is moving through the gauntlet, you have passed all the trials and tribulations. You've gone through the challenge, and you're now emerging on the other side, victorious, front runner, head and shoulders above the rest. So your soul's desire is being granted. You're in the energy of alignment, and this is a beautiful weekend energy. I hope you all have a blessed, blessed, blessed weekend. I will see you again on Monday, my friends. Namaste.